Surrender from After Effects, CC 2014. In short, all you have to do is go to Composition, add to Adobe Media Encoder queue, and then Adobe Media Encoder will load. Click on H264. Uh, we can uncheck any of these um, that we don't agree with. So I would go from Profile, change that to High, change the level to 5.1. To get the best file size, I would do VBR2 Plus. Target bitrate, I would do as 8. Maximum bitrate for 12. This would be for an HD 720 or 1080 video. Hit OK. Press Render. Doing that in a little bit more detail, uh, if you haven't rendered anything from After Effects in a while, you'll no longer be able to render MP4 videos out directly from After Effects. Um, you're now pretty much forced to go into the uh, Adobe Media Encoder if you want to render anything other than an image sequence out of After Effects. Um, some people say it's to ram more, more software down your throat, but it's, uh, it is actually very effective at rendering high quality videos uh, with a small file size. So once your composition is ready to be rendered, um, make sure you're in the um, uppermost part of your composition and uh, go ahead and go to Composition, and instead of clicking on Add to Render Queue, go to Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue, or Control-Alt-M. And the moment you hit that, uh, Adobe Media Encoder will load. And give it a moment, and your uh, output um, will pop up in here. So this is your uh, uh, file from After Effects ready to render. First of all, the output file, um, we need to just double check with that and make sure you're happy that that's uh, where it's going to end up. And then the next step is to click on this H.264 here. So this is going to render out as a nice MP4 for us, um, which is great um, and perfect for uploading to the internet as well. So as long as, as long as you're uploading online, we'll stick with H.264. But let's change some settings in there. So I'm going to click on H.264. It's going to load for a moment and then bring up some export settings here for us. We can see our uh, video here, um, and we, should, we may be able to slide through that just to make sure everything's there. This is what it's going to render for us. You may notice that the uh, end uh, frame duration here is actually shorter than what you may be expecting. Um, don't worry too much about that. The final video will be as long as it is in After Effects. Now the next step is to um, jump into here. At the moment we've got a preset which happens to be match source. This may be different for you. It doesn't really matter. Um, you're going to notice this is all greyed out. All you have to do is uh, uncheck any of these checkboxes to tell them to disobey the preset orders there. So, but uh, I know I want it to definitely be at the uh, video settings that we have. Um, HD 720, 25 frames per second. Um, but one thing I do want to change, there's a profile. I'm going to change that to high. And I'm also going to change the level from 4.1 to 5.1. Sorry if that was off screen there. Um, and then if we scroll down as well, we've got the bitrate settings here. And this is something that you couldn't do in After Effects when you could render from in there, is change the bitrate encoding. We can change it from one pass to two passes. This will take twice as long to render but it will create a smaller video file um, and of an arguably higher quality as well. So we'll do um, VBR 2 pass and the target bitrate, if you're doing an HD 720 or 1080 video, there's some settings that we can look at. So if we jump onto uh, the web and we can have a look on um, YouTube's help to see what do they recommend for their um, bit rates, and we can see that the, uh, the larger the um, resolution of your video, the more bit rates you're going to need to give it. Uh, for HD 720, you only need 5 megabits per second. HD 1080, it's only going to use 8 megabits per second. Um, but I, I would usually go for that as a bare minimum um, anyway. So for the target bit rate, I would do 8. And the maximum bit rate, uh, when it really needs to, um, I would let it go up to 12 uh, there as well. And that is everything that we need to do there. And if there's any audio, make sure that's checked, but that should be by default. And we can see the estimated file size there as well. So it's uh, pretty low. So three megabytes or four seconds, that's, that's fine. So uh, go ahead and hit OK. 
And to render this out, it may not be immediately apparent, but you just hit this green button up here. As long as you're happy where it's going to be rendering to, hit that. You'll see a little preview of what it's doing. Um, and because it's going to do two passes, you may notice the same video looping twice there. Once it's finished, you can click on the output file here and it'll bring up the folder that it rendered to for you to preview the video and make sure it works. So if I uh, click here and then double click on my uh, MP4 file here and uh, we can see that it has actually rendered it out perfectly. It's uh, the correct duration and um, the quality is good and it's only uh, a couple of me megabytes in size as well.